boys and girls. So today we're going to go back and remember something that I've already talked about a little bit and we see everywhere when we are reading stories and fun picture books. So we see rhyming words. Do you remember when I talked about rhyming words? So rhyming words are two words or more than two words that have the same middle sound and ending sound. So I have an example right here, okay? So we've learned in the last couple of weeks, we've learned about digraphs. And digraphs are when two letters make one sound. So there's a digraph right here. Ch, 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 in, ch, in. This says chin, this is your chin. Chin, okay? So the big, then the second word is b, in, bin. So, the beginning sound of these two words is different. So the beginning sound is the first sound in a word. The beginning sound is different, but the middle sound and the ending sound is the same. Chin, bin, chin, bin. Now sometimes, it's all about the sound. So, so you have to listen for rhyming words. Chin, bin. You can see that these are rhyming words because the middle and ending letters are the same, but it's not, the letters are not as important as the sound. So let's try again. So an example of rhyming words, but the spelling is different, is here. So this is another digraph, the beginning sound. Ch this is the beginning sound, ch, cheer. This sound is silent, the second vowel is silent, and the first sound is the long sound, ch, ear, cheer, <sighs> ear, hear. So cheer and hear, say it with me, cheer, hear. The ending sound, the ending sound, which is the last sounds, of the word, the middle and the ending sounds are the same. The sounds are the same. Not necessarily the spelling, the sounds. That's why listening is very important. So say it with me. Cheer, hear. Cheer, hear. So the ending and the middle sounds are the same. So that makes it a rhyming word. The beginning sounds are different in rhyming words. So we're gonna go over a few more examples. So now I have an example. Here, the be in rhyming words, the beginning sound is different and the middle and ending sounds are the same. So let's see what we have. The beginning sounds is and m, okay? So, house, house, and mouse, mouse, house, mouse. Say it with me, house, mouse, house, mouse. So the, end, the middle and the ending sound in these two words are the same. And in this word, the spelling is the same too. But the most important thing is you have to listen for rhyming words. House, mouse. The ending and the middle sounds are the same. So they're rhyming. Okay, we'll do one more example before I show you your work for today. Okay, so remember rhyming words, the beginning sound, which is the first sound, the beginning sound is different, and the middle and the ending sound are the same. So this says moon, moon, spoon, moon, spoon. Say it with me, moon, spoon, moon, spoon. So the, the middle and the ending sounds are the same, so they're rhyming. Very good, moon, spoon, mouse, house, hear, cheer, those are all rhyming words because when two ending sounds are the same, it's a rhyming word. And in a lot of the stories that Madame Colleen reads you, there's rhyming words. So today we're gonna do some work um, that are in the worksheets are in your lesson plan, okay? So if you cannot print your lesson, you can copy the sentences into your English notebook and practice your writing words, okay? So I'm gonna go over those pages with you. Here's what the page looks like that I want you to either print out or write these sentences in your English notebook. Here are the directions. 
Read each sentence. Do you hear the two rhyming words? Underline the words that rhyme. So underline means uh, draw a line under the words that rhyme. So here's the first one done for you. The hat was on the cat. The hat was on the cat. So there's two words that are rhyming. Hat, cat, hat, cat. So I want you to read all of these sentences and find the two rhyming words and then underline it. So I have my pencil and we're gonna do this sentence together and then you can finish the rest on your own. I can bake a cake. I can bake a cake. Which two words sound like rhyming words? Bake, cake, bake, cake. Look, the beginning sound is different, but the ending sound is the same. So you would underline bake and underline cake. And then you can read the sentences, read the rest of the sentences, and then send me a picture when you're finished. So here's the second page I want you to do at home. Rhyming words are words that sound alike at the end of the word. Example, cat, hat, cat, hat. Draw lines to match the pictures that rhyme. So snake, and what does it rhyme with? Does snake rhyme with log, house, lock, or rake? Snake, rake, snake, Rake, so those are rhyming, so you would match it. Rock, log, do those rhyme? No, rock, house, do those rhyme? No, rock, lock, rock, lock. The ending sound is the same, so then you draw a line. So finish that and send it to me. Write the word that rhymes, hat, hmm, and then write it on the line. Bed, what color is that? Bed, red, then write it on the line. Toy, what rhymes with toy? That's like this picture. Chips, and what are these? Write the rhyming word on the line with good handwriting. And that's it for today, boys and girls, so send me your work.